They put singing in here. <gasps> oh, look at oh my gosh. Tortoise. And. Here's the mine that was the next one. Mm -hmm. Swap. Oh, oh my gosh. It's a raven. I like it. Right. There we go. That's what we were missing. Okay, I'd honestly oh. be terrified if that thing was just walking through the grass. We got a lot of overall Pokemon at school. Wow, Butterfree is still here. I wonder if you can just walk up to him and find him. I have him. a look. Oh. Look, it was fishing, but there wasn't a specific fishing the berries, spot. The berries are back, though. <laughs> the berries are back. They're shaking berries down from the trees. What is... What are those? Huh? What are those under your head? Hey, regular regular Raichu. Raichu. What's that? There's Meowstic. I thought it was Meowstic. What's wrong with <laughs> you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, they took Mega Pokemon to a whole nother... Mega and Total Pokemon. <laughs> Mega and Total Pokemon. Mega and Total Pokemon become one. Misses. Try to break out instantly. Try, try putting that back in your pocket. <laughs> Soccer. Or is it a gym? That's, that's baseball. I was not expecting that face with that body. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the nose? That's the. Wait, is that another. Cotton looking Pokemon. Cotton, cotton tea. Cotton. I'm just catching up. Sorry, this music right now. I don't know, they're singing in it. Look at his shoe. It wasn't even on the floor. Charizard, is that the guy from Pokemon? Type of Pikachu? I know. With the tattoos and everything. You guys are see drawing Pikachu. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? Mm -hmm. Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. Diglett! You can take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. After choosing Grookey, Sporebunny, or Sobble as your first partner Pokemon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and Aww. many other locations with rich personalities. My baby. <laughs> Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the galaxy. Is that wood hammer? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Grab it. Robin. Across the Galar region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. So much green. So if you lose, you're you really did it across the whole region. Of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. To tell you more about some of the Pokemon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. Hey, Jamie. Hello, I am James Turner from Game Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. There are a lot of never <laughs> before seen Pokemon that await you in the Gala region. But allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. 
Aww. This Pokemon is a defining it's characteristic is its fluffy fur, which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Galo region, who use it to craft popular specialty goods. Aww. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur, a flowering Pokemon. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water, and its pollen is said to be a This is something cool, though. Mm. It's called Dreadnought. A Pokemon. Snap with a form. And jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Its vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. Don't lose your fingers, kids. This Pokemon mm -hmm. that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. It puts its skills to use when working as a flying taxi which will take the player back to any town he or she has previously Oh, that's cool. That's cooler than Charizard. As many of you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger. Don't show us the stars, please don't. Okay. I'm the to show us. It's one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves... Oh. oh, that's what it was too. As you can see, uh, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. So I don't need to buy any more revives? That's all I'm going to show you this time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. How are That's we going to evolve Jellicent? <laughs> <laughs> Turn the switch upside down. There's a amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. The trees look really nice. Really nice tree. <laughs> that was just Pokemon being too one of the thrills of the adventure. Where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Galar region is in a place called the Wild Area. The this wild area <laughs> stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. So you mean a room. Pokemon can <laughs> depending on where you are and right. what the weather is like. Meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. <laughs> oh my fall. gosh, stealing. So you may already have noticed, but while Wait, are you in this area, you have control over the camera, allowing you to better search oh. for items and Pokemon. Search really? far and wide Sneaking? in the skies above. See Bunnelby in the grass. Where you never know what you might find. No little rock there. The Certain locations camera so cool. in the Gala region, mm -hmm. a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. Hi, I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. So we get rid of some of the moves, so they're just certain ones can be used. It's got the clouds all over there, head like a bad shot. Cloud clouds. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, How does that not hurt the people? Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. So, okay. you need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Mastering Dynamax will be key to becoming a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Remember that wild area we told you about? No. If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play this cat. One of these new multiplayer features is called Max. It's way wild! In Max Raid battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Not only that, 
It also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the max rate battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these Everybody's going to try to do it on the first turn watch. <laughs> I need you to get mine in first. Now my is strong. to emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch. Throw a Pokeball, still called a regular Pokeball. The Pokemon sure. you take on in max raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Oh <laughs> god, they're not wearing wigs this time. caught after you defeat them in max raid battles. So we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. What if you find a shiny one? Oh my gosh, I mean, that would be so crazy. Uh, no, Max Raid think. Battles feature strategic cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. Hey, we're four players. So no one system now? It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality oh. to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. So I hope you'll try max raid battles with all sorts of other players. Now you just need to get three more switches. I know, guess not. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you'll encounter on your adventure. This guy is the greatest trainer in the galaxy, and also the current champion. His name is Leon. In a region where Pokemon battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all more incredible. He's his popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. <laughs> it's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galaxy. Guys, hair in his cape movement across his arms. Also happens to be one of your rivals. His name is Hop. Is that his kid? Hop dreams to one day become champion, just like his elder brother. And he trains for his brother. So you have the right is, idea. Is, is that his kid? His journey through the Gala region begins on the same day Can as I have a little Pokédex? No, it's Lightning Bolt Pokédex. So you just have On your journey, you and Hop <laughs> receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Gala region and specializes in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. So so much much her her also serves as her assistant. Their abundant wisdom and sound advice will mm -hmm. surely come in handy throughout your adventure. That looks so weird seeing a female character with nails like that. No, <laughs> I was like, at the back of this cape, we ask Kate, you see all the little <laughs> we say I have figures and stuff. I know. Pokemon gyms in the gallery. Good, 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 good. <laughs> you and your rival will need to take on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region. <laughs> in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamax. The gym leaders also have so extremely good. powerful Dynamax Pokemon. Looks like freaking Toad has a Pokemon <laughs> trainer. <laughs> Can I try that? Oh my gosh, it sounds like the monkey from Twilight Princess or something. It's probably Giga Dream. Giga Dream. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. No. This is the expert, Milo. It's like the dude from it's like Silent. Trustworthy Pokemon, and you will have to overcome his tenacious fighting style to continue. Sorry, they're trying to play gym leader music, but they might be. Look forward to facing many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. We've shown up quite a bit today, but I have one more video I would like you to see. The legendary Pokemon? Oh, yeah. Please take a look. They rehearsed that. We rehearsed this. No, and we are proud of it. Look at score bunny and smash. Yes, and sword. Oh, that's that's sorry. This looks like Gengar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Funny how their color schemes are the same. I don't 
variables. The two Pokemon it's you saw in the video back. just now are in fact legendary Pokemon of the Gallo region, called Sashian and Zamazenta. <laughs> they look so similar, I like them both. Discovery everything. for yourself yeah. just yeah. what role Sashian and Zamazenta will play in the story. I hope you enjoyed today's <laughs> Pokemon Direct. Of course, what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Gallery region. The Gallery region. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Please look forward to it. Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. <laughs> Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Four Pokemon years from now. <laughs> I think it'd be four years. Available from now. on November 15, 2019, as a global simultaneous release. I'll so just say, when you today, have kids. You can pre-order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more information. I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the gallery. So this is a 3DS main thing Thank you for watching. Nope. Okay, in our trash. Okay, footage in this video was not fine. Ugh, amazing. That's okay. How do you get one. to play with each other? Bye. Good okay. morning, Nintendo okay. Switches. Okay, so that was good. Right. The graphics mm -hmm. were amazing. Yeah. yeah. But you guys should mind it's on the Switch. It's not like it's on the... Uh, the DS from like before. 3DS, yeah. Uh, look, look, here's the main thing. There's four of us. There's one Switch. So that's why we're kind of like, you know, dang, there's no multiplayer of any, you know, kind type of thing. Yeah. I, I wasn't really expecting it like that, but I was just kind of hoping. They would at least yeah. have something. And then the other thing was like, I just want to see certain things like, can we rematch trainers? Is Super Training back? Most importantly, is there going to be a hard mode where they get rid of the tutorials? Not show you how to catch Pokemon? Yeah, treating you like a baby. Like they said, you know, last Direct, we're making it for all ages. If you want to make it, you know, for all ages or uh, all Pokemon fans pretty much, make sure you have a way for the newer players. Like they have done for, you know, specifically Sun and Moon and X and Y, and make it harder for people who played it way longer. Because, you know, we don't need hand holding anymore and uh, some of the extra stuff they keep trying to teach you or talk to you about, and you're like, ugh, I know this already. Yeah, if anything, just bring back the handbook like they had in uh, Leaf Green. They I had forgot the about that. Impress or RL. And the handbook will pop up, show you all the weaknesses to different types. Instead of putting it on the screen. Yeah, so as long as it's options, that's all that we care about. Yeah. And rematching trainers, I said that already, but I wanna <laughs> more ways to find shiny Pokemon like sweet sinning and chain fishing. Regular fishing to come back and yeah, use Yeah, I keep spot. forgetting. Or, yeah. Well that, that was four battles too. With the sweet sinning. Yeah. That's what you're that's what you're talking about actually. Yeah, hard battles. I like tour battles. I like horror battles, not the ones from Sun and Moon where they kept pushing in one Pokemon randomly every time, like, the feathers on the global got old. Yeah. Alright guys, peace. That's right.